Hey everyone, my name is Bogdan Bushta and today I'm going to show you how to create a YAML pipeline in Azure DevOps. Before getting started with the pipeline, I'm going to create a blank Visual Studio solution. Uh, it will be named Todoist app because I'm planning to create something for Todoist. And once I have the solution loaded, I will create a new project, which will be of type uh, Blazor Server app. Uh, going to click next type the name of the project and once I have everything uh, set up I will uh, run the solution to see if it's running locally you see that it is so let's go ahead and create a git repository and uh, now I'm going to create a new project in Azure DevOps I'm going to mark the project as public going with the default settings and I'm going to create the project. Once the project is created, uh, I will uh, create the Git repository. But for this, we will first have to enable the repos in the DevOps project. For this, you have to go to settings. Uh, you have to check the toggle for repos to on. And now, if you go back to the project, you will see that you have the option to add repos. I'm going to copy this, set it up in my uh, local git repository and then I can push code to this uh, Azure DevOps project. Now I'm going to create a pipeline uh, which will be of type ASP.NET. I'm going to simplify this a bit. Here we have a trigger based on the dev branch so whenever I push a commit on dev it will uh, start the build. Then we have uh, the pool, Ubuntu latest, uh, variables and then we have stages. We will have the build stage and the deploy stage. The build stage is very simple, we just do a .NET build here. Now you can see that the build is running and it will be successful. So now we have our first build done in the Azure DevOps pipeline. The next step is to create uh, Azure Resource Group. And in uh, this resource group we are going to create an app service which will be used to host our uh, application. Okay, the resource group is created. Now I'm going to add here, uh, it's called web app. I'm going to add the name. Uh, the runtime stack will be .NET 6. And uh, for the location, I will use West Germany because that's closer to me. I we'll also need a new service plan, and now we can create the web app. Now that the web app is created, we should continue with our stage, and after the build we should uh, publish our artifacts. Okay, so the next uh, stage will be a .NET publish. It will also be a script. Here I'm going to publish to the location uh, it's a predefined path build.artifact staging directory. Next step is to publish this folder to an artifact. So I'm going to use uh, this task publish pipeline artifact. Now I'm writing all of this in YAML, but of course you can also use the menu from the right. I'm going to set the target path, which is the same path where we published our file earlier. And once we run this build, you'll see that we have a published artifact with the name drop. And inside it, we have all the files from the published directory. Now we're going to edit the pipeline again. And we're going to add a new stage called deploy app. 
In this stage, we're going to add uh, two steps. The first one will download the pipeline artifact, and the second one will publish the artifact to the Azure App Service. Here you can see both tasks, the one for downloading the artifact and the one for publishing the artifact to Azure. Let's save this and uh, run the pipeline again and see what happens. Because we have two stages, now you can see that our uh, pipeline will show these stages. The first one is called build or building the app and the second one is for deploying the app. So once the build stage is completed, successfully then we can the deployment will be done automatically of course we can configure this so maybe you want to um, approve the deployment or maybe you want to condition it based on a certain branch these are things that you can do in the pipeline now here you see that i need some permissions uh, so i need to connect uh, azure devops with uh, my azure subscription Okay, so I'm going to go to the deployment stage. Here I'm going to authorize uh, Azure DevOps to connect to my Azure subscription. And now the deployment will start. While the deployment is in progress, I can show you that the app service has the default website in it. And once uh, the deployment is done, we should have our Blazor application inside. Now the deployment was uh, completed. All stages are green. I'll go to the web app and refresh it. And now you can see that the Blazor application is inside and working. That's it for today. In the next video, I'll show you how to add unit tests to your pipeline and also static code analysis with Endepend. Uh, the in initial video had more than 30 minutes. I had some issues with uh, Git, with authentication in Azure, uh, with uh, Docker when I set up the project and so on. But I eliminated all that stuff in order to make the video as compact as possible and uh, to show you only the interesting parts. But I'm curious if you prefer this or the longer version, maybe I could do it live next time. So let me know and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching.